I spent a lot of my life doing survival skills and doing uh, primitive skills, bushcraft. In that time, I learned the, how important it is to be able to eat, you know, to have food. And, uh, you know, you spend a lot of time like hunting and trapping and gathering food like wild greens and stuff. But ultimately, where the where the good action is at is fish. You know, in order to get fish, it's all about having a boat. Well, my name is Keely Rian, and I am a kayak builder. Um, I build skin-on-frame kayaks, uh, which is um, skin-on-frame kayaks have a long tradition, and um, I'm one of the contemporary boat builders that carries on the tradition of building skin-on-frames. When I do a, a kayak building workshop, it's basically one week. It starts on a Saturday and then it ends the following Sunday. So it's a week, including two weekends. And basically all the builders, they show up, with a couple tools in their hand, and then they say, okay, um, let's build a boat. And we start from nothing, and um, we end up with a finished boat and a finished paddle. So in that time, they learn how to build a boat, starting um, by uh, pulling the gunnels and um, bending the wood into the right shape, creating beams for it, and cutting complicated mortise and tenon joints, um, steam bending wood, um, so that we get the beautiful curves that we need in order to create the hull and then the whole boat is lashed and tied together So there's actually no metal fasteners in the boat. Um, the boat is entirely pegged and lashed together So they're pretty amazing amazing craft and they're ultra light and they're really high performing So for the most part, um, the boats are made out of western red cedar. Uh, cedar comes from uh, the Pacific Northwest, which is Canada and the northwestern United States. For the most part, it is really good boat building wood because it doesn't rot and it's very lightweight. Um, but you know, lots of other woods are um, usable. It just happens to be that cedar is really so light that it's the, but just about the lightest wood that we can use that's a really good boat building wood. And then on top of that, um, we have, use a tiny bit of oak, um, a very small amount of oak, and then some bamboo um, for the ribbing. Um, once the ribs are in, then we go ahead and lash everything together. So we're gonna start um, tying, basically the whole boat is tied together, which makes it actually stronger because the joints move um, past each other. And then, um, We'll finally take the boat and then uh, skin it. So we'll take fabric, uh, ballistic nylon fabric, wrap it over the boat and then uh, get it tight um, through a series of mechanical advantage stitches. And then we sew the whole thing up and put some polyurethane on the surface of it. It's a special type of polyurethane that makes the boats really UV resistant and also really strong against abrasion. Um, a lot of the techniques that we use are traditional, but nowadays uh, we borrow a lot of stuff from um, Japanese woodworking as well as um, other modern woodworking traditions. We're using like planes and Japanese saws and rasps and things like that. Um, and it's kind of nice because the, the, the hand tools that we use are pretty low tech. So everything's designed to be used, um, done by hand. Um, so there's almost no usage of power tools. Um, so it's a pretty easy, uh, easy way to build stuff and it doesn't require a lot of fancy tools. Alright, cool. Um, also look around, see if you have any spots. Uh, so the, the boats uh, that we designed, skin on frame kayaks, are part of a long tradition of boat building. Um, they, the kayaks originally come from around the Pacific Rim and portions of Canada, but they're basically all the places where there were no trees. Trees didn't grow, it's above the tree line. And so the only way you could build a boat was to uh, find driftwood on the beach, build a frame, and then they took marine mammals and then uh, skinned them, covered them with the skins of seals. Before the migration of people came across that had kayak technology, the people that came across and lived in the far north really had a hard time surviving. Um, when the kayaks came around from, uh, from Siberia, 
that it changed everything. And um, though those people were able to go out and hunt seals, they were able to go and uh, get things from the ocean, which is what everything in the Arctic is all about. It's all about the life that lives in the ocean and uh, you know, being able to be part of that cycle. And a big part of building um, Skin on Frames is to kind of tap into that tradition and then to kind of learn how can you hand build a boat, a boat that's really useful to yourself with minimal resources, with a minimum amount of time and effort, but build an excellent boat. I have completely lost track of how many boats I've built. Um, I would say probably around 80 um, myself and with students, um, well over five or 600 um, boats. So we build a lot of boats and um, most of the boats that I build are prototypes. So it gives me the chance to design and test boats um, and keep testing them and refining the boats. And that's the fun part. It's just getting the boat after you've designed it, prototyped it, you know, built it and then paddling and testing it, you know, is it, how does it handle in the surf? How does it handle in calm, quiet water? Can I make, can I fish out of it? You know, is it stable enough to fish out of? You know, and so it's a nice time when you get to go fishing and then that's uh, testing. <laughs> um, but it's all, it's all part of it. It's very important to test as thoroughly as possible every single model. Do you want to go ahead and launch? Yeah. Okay. I want you to shake it around a little bit. Shake the boat around. You should feel it. Yeah. Feel good? Great. Good? All yeah. right. Cool. Let's okay. Yeah. Remember, just relax. If it feels tippy, just relax. Good. All right. Relax. Relax. I want people to kind of get a glimpse at indigenous technology, to look at something that's really different and really cool and say, okay, wow, this is something that indigenous people did and continue to do, and it's amazing. You have the ability to travel really long distances um, in a boat that you can put all of your gear in. So you can go expedition, you can go for a month or two months at a time and take everything you need with you and live off the land and just go camping indefinitely. It's a transport vessel, it's a fishing vessel, and it's your closest companion for when you're out on an expedition. It's just a really wonderful way to travel and to see the land, to see the ocean, and to live. It's a, yeah, it's a great, great way to go about it.